a very busy street. We want to slow the traffic down. South Salt Lake City Police regularly run speed enforcement here. When we looked at these signs this morning, we agreed with our tipster. There's no way southbound drivers can read the 35 mile per hour speed limit sign hidden behind the bus sign. This is new. South Salt Lake Police, UTA, and UDOT were learning about it from me. I think the speed in question was like 49 in a 35 mile an hour zone. The driver contested that ticket in traffic court last week because of the blocked speed limit sign. The closest previous speed limit sign was more than five blocks prior. They present all the evidence to the judge, and from what I understand, she's ultimately found uh, guilty of speeding. Why? Police tell me the officer targeted the car with LIDAR and pulled the suspected speeder over well before reaching the signs in question. The motorist still has the right, though, to appeal the decision in district court. Turns out, UTA did not get a permit from UDOT for the sign. But listen to this. Sometime between 11 a.m. and noon, somebody bent the pole on the UTA sign so that it no longer blocks the speed limit sign. Neither UTA, UDOT, nor the police knew who bent the sign. If you're ever in doubt about the speed limit on a surface street because you can't see the sign. If there is no speed sign, the speed is 25 miles an hour, just the same as it is in a residential area.